All right, so of course the first question, why reflectors, why not just Arcade Fire as a name? Well, we've been playing mostly uh, songs from the new album, and we we're just trying to prepare people for that It's Not a Greatest Hits show, and that we're really going for, we've been kind of doing this thing where it's a very carnival-esque atmosphere, and, and uh, the audience has been dressing up in costume, and um, so we're just really trying to create a, a special kind of different vibe for the shows, so... Yeah, because I understand that people have to come in the special dress code, right? Um, no, not. I mean, it's more for fun. You know, it's it's. Uh, no one's turned away. No one's been turned away for not coming. But I I remember that in the early two thousands, the Beastie Boys did something similar where they you had to wear formal clothes to get in, and I read a really funny thing where they were making fun of. They were like, please don't wear cargo shorts to the show. It's not that kind of party. Like, <laughs> so, so what do you ask from the, from the audience tonight? Um, what do I ask from the audience yeah. tonight? Uh -huh. what would you... Well, I mean, we, we, we spent a lot of time in Haiti, and we went to the carnival in Haiti, which is just mind-blowing. And people spend all year preparing their costumes, and it's the most artistic kind of environment you could ever be in. And so we're just trying to engage people's creativity and you know people will come like five people dressed in banana costumes or you know or the people have done their makeup to look like the makeup that that I was wearing on Saturday Night Live or you know so it's really just trying to because the whole point of carnival it's about the crowd it's not about the performer so it, it's it's kind of fun to just get lost in, in the performance and just creates an atmosphere where people feel like they can dance and have fun and that's kind of the goal. Because Belgians aren't really the most exuberant people, are they? <laughs> You'd be surprised. They really want to let loose. You just have to, it's kind of our job to make the atmosphere. And because I think deep down everyone wants to, to, you know, forget about it for a night. Okay, so I understand that um, in, on, on the last album, you also used that Haitian influence yes um is that new for you was that something that um, you really wanted to explore well my time? my wife who's regine who's in the band is her her family's from haiti and so i was exposed to haitian culture through going to her family's house for christmas parties and you know it's montreal so there's snow up to the windows and we're inside drinking rum punch and dancing to the caribbean music and 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 eating plantains and um so I, I had a real interest in Haitian culture through her family, and then we went together. And it's a place, I'm, I'm sure I'll be going to Haiti when I'm 80 years old. It's a place that I've just absolutely fallen in love with, the culture and the people and the music and the food. And um, there, it's, it's pretty much a world heritage site for, for culture. I mean, the, the carnival in Haiti there's a lot of elements from European Carnival from hundreds of years ago that have just been frozen in this time capsule. Um, it's really unlike anything I've ever experienced. It, and I, the first time I went, it was like, okay, I want to do Carnival every year. You know, it just made so much sense to me as a religious expression and uh, and uh, a party, and it's about death and life and sex and 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 family and it's kind of about what life the stuff that life is about but it's also a very poor country it's a very poor country yeah, yeah. so it's uh, is, is that of any interest to you is this an, uh, something on, of influence to your album as well yeah i mean i've been personally very moved and changed by befriending a lot of haitians um and just seeing how like some of the musicians we collaborated with on the album were living still in tents in Port-au-Prince. Um, and these are people who play in a band who have a certain level of success and they're still, you know, by our standards, living in really difficult circumstances, but still the happiest, you know, people, the, the most full of life. So I've been really personally moved by those relationships. 
Um, now I understand that, uh, well, you've been touring in small venues, yeah. just the small ones, which means that I think within 10 minutes in Belgium it was sold out yeah. once they knew it was you, yeah. that it was Arcade Fire. Yeah. <laughs> um, is this a plan to continue uh, playing in small venues or are you going big to the bigger halls? Um, no, I mean, we'll, we, we want to play to all of our fans. We just kind of, this has really kind of been almost an art experiment to try and figure out how we're going to take this energy that we've been able to create and try and duplicate it to bigger venues and, and you know, somewhere where everyone can come. But it, it's kind of, I, I'm excited about that because in Carnival, the more people, the more audience, the better. Because at a certain point, it's really more about the audience than it is about the band. The band's just the excuse for everyone to get together. And then it's really about the people. Okay, so just one more question, um, which is, no, no, it's okay. All right, yeah, <laughs> no, silly question, let's forget about that. Okay. I've got nothing like that. Thank okay. you. Thank you so much. <laughs>